Ok. Ok, Sally. Okay, so we have here. So now, Sally, give okay an example of each kind. If you do not like any kind, say why. Okay, which of these different kind of video games do you like, or do you choose? And tell me why. Okay, you write your answer in the chat box. Okay. Okay, I can hear you, Sally. Sally, I can hear you. Yes. Okay, can you hear me now? Sally? I can't hear what you say. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, please read in the chat box. You answer now.
Okay. You like adventurous games because it is exciting. Exciting and interesting. Okay, exciting. Look at the spelling. Okay, next one. Let's move to the next. Okay. So, Sam and Amy. Okay. For Sam and Amy. We usually use some in affirmative sentences. Some in affirmative sentences. And any in negative sentences. Example, there are some traffic lights at the end. There is some pasta. The dog doesn't... I can't hear what you say. Any biscuits. Oh, Jimmy my said. God. Oh, what happened to your audio? I can't hear what you say. My God, how can I discuss? Okay, so here, please answer. I don't know. Okay. I can hear what you say. I don't know. I don't know what happened to my audio. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Any some 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 any any okay. Correct. Correct. Okay, next. Okay, please underline. Underline the correct words. To complete the dialogue, then listen and check. Let's 
Lesson 3B. Exercise 6. I can hear. Look, there's a building with some people outside. Turn left just before you get... Okay. Okay, Sally, what happened? You tell your mom to fix it. Hi. Okay. Okay. You hear me now? Okay. Okay, so underline the correct words to complete the dialogue, then listen and check. Go! Look, there's a building with some people outside. Turn left just before you get there. I can't see any people. There isn't much light. Hey, what's that noise? Nothing. There was some rubbish in the road. <sighs> I hate this part of town. There aren't many nice areas. Let's go north. How much fuel have we got? Mm, only a few liters. Oh no, listen. The police are chasing us now. Let me drive. I know a few tricks. Jack? Are you doing any homework in there? Uh, yes. We're doing a little IT homework. Jack? It's not true. Well, we're spending a lot of time on the computer. <laughs> but we aren't doing any work. <laughs> okay, please underline now what do you think is the correct answer. Go! Can you uh, let me listen again? Yeah, sure. Lesson 3B. Exercise 6. Look, there's a building with some people outside. Turn left just before you get there. I can't see any people. There isn't much light. Hey, what's that noise? Nothing. There was some rubbish in the road. <sighs> I hate this part of town. There aren't many nice areas. Let's go north. How much fuel have we got? Mm, only a few liters. Oh no, listen. The police are chasing us now. Let me drive. I know a few tricks. Jack? Are you doing any homework in there? Uh, yes. We're doing a little IT homework. Jack, that's not true. Well... We're spending a lot of time on the computer. <laughs> but we aren't doing any work. <laughs> okay, finished. No, so I'm... Let me listen again. Okay, go. Lesson 3B. Exercise 6. Look, there's a building with some people outside. Turn left just before you get there. I can't see any people. There isn't much light. Hey, what's that noise? Nothing. There was some rubbish in the road. <sighs> I hate this part of town. There aren't many nice areas. Let's go north. How much fuel have we got? Mm, only a few liters. Oh no, listen. The police are chasing us now. Let me drive. I know a few tricks. Jack? Are you doing any homework in there? Uh, yes. We're doing a little IT homework. Jack, that's not true. Well... We're spending a lot of time on the computer. <laughs> but we aren't doing any work. <laughs> Finish. Okay, number one. Psalm number two. 
any. Okay, remember, any is for negative. Some is for positive. Okay, much. Some, correct, many, very good. Much, we cannot count, very good. A few, a few, any, little, a lot of, any. Okay, very good. Yay, great job. Okay, so this one. Now, complete the email, Sally, with the words and phrases below here. You are going to pick. Use each word or phrase as only one. So you will not repeat it. Okay. When you can use this, you will not repeat it anymore. Okay. So just use the words or phrases once only. Pagilihan na mo. O, ah, na, ah, kanatihan mo. Okay, sorry, two and three. Can I have a little bit of a session? Okay. 
Oh, number one, how much? Very good. Two, much? Three, many. Four, many. Five, how many DVDs can you bring? So, how many? Okay. Many. Little, very good. Don't bring any food. Very good because it's don't, it's negative. Yay. Okay, Sally, next more. Next mob here. So, oh, look at the photo and answer the questions. Okay. Okay. So, first in the sitcom, How I Met Your Mother, what is Ted Moisbo's job? Okay. So, this is about game show. How I met my mother. What is the game? Finish. Okay, so here. Do you know the game show in the photo? Yes, this is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? What happens in the show? Ask some questions for the woman. What is the correct answer to the questions? Okay, the game show is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Okay, the contestants has to pick the right answer. When they get the answer right, the money goes up. Okay, if they did not get the correct answer, the money goes down. What is the correct answer? It's letter C, architect. Okay, so Ted Moshby job in the set from How I Met Your Mother is an architect. Okay, so here you read and listen to the dialogue and circle the correct verb. Please circle the correct verb, Sally. Listen. Lesson 3D. Exercise 2. This question is for 125,000 pounds. Jill, in the sitcom, How I Met Your Mother, what is Ted Mosby's job? Is it A, lawyer, B, designer, C, architect, or D, reporter? Um, I'd like to ask the audience, please. Okay, audience, you must answer A, B, C, or D on your keypads now. Okay, 30% think it's B and 50% think it's C. But you needn't take their advice. Mm, I, I think I'll phone my friend Danny. Okay, let's ring Danny. Hello, Danny. Jill has a question worth £125,000. You must answer within 30 seconds, okay? Hi, Danny. In the sitcom, How I Met Your Mother, what is Ted Mosby's job? Is it A. Lawyer, B. Designer, C. Architect, or D. Reporter? Um, I think it's B. Or maybe C. No, it's D. Sorry, you're out of time. But you don't have to answer the question. You can walk away with £64,000. I'm going to answer C. Final answer? No. Uh, yes. Uh, no. You don't have to change your mind. The answer is B. Final answer. Oh, Jill. The answer yeah, is C. Architect. 
You've just lost thirty-two thousand pounds. Can I listen again? Yes, sure. Lesson three D, exercise two. This question is for one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds, Jill. In the sitcom *How I Met Your Mother*, what is Ted Mosby's job? Is it A. Lawyer, B. Designer, C. Architect, or D. Reporter? Um, I I'd like to ask the audience, please. Okay, audience, you must answer A, B, C, or D on your keypads now. Okay, thirty percent think it's B, and fifty percent think it's C. But you needn't take their advice. Hmm. I, I think I'll phone my friend Danny. Okay, let's ring Danny. Hello, Danny. Jill has a question worth one hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. You must answer within thirty seconds, okay? Hi, Danny. In the sitcom *How I Met Your Mother*, what is Ted Mosby's job? Is it A. Lawyer, B. Designer, C. Architect, or D. Reporter? Um. I think it's B, or maybe C. No, it's D. Sorry, you're out of time, but you don't have to answer the question. You can walk away with sixty-four thousand pounds. I'm going to answer C. Final answer? No. <laughs> yes.、Uh, no. You don't have to change your mind. The answer is B. <laughs> Final answer. Oh, Jill, the answer is C. Architect, you've just lost thirty-two thousand pounds. Oh. Finish. Okay. So let us have this. Oh, mustn't. Very good. Needn't. Must, don't have to, don't have to. Wow, very good, Sally. Girl, one mistake only, Sally. Great job. Okay, so this one. Okay, you know already. Must means you have to say something is necessary, very important. Like you will say, I must finish my work. So it's very important to finish your work. Necessary. Okay, so. Needn't or you don't have to. It means it's not necessary. It's the opposite. Okay. So here, please complete the sentence with must or have to. And the verbs below. Example: Have to wear. Okay.
finish. Okay. We must eat. In Britain, we have to drive. Drive. Okay, must stop. Must stop eating so many sweets. Must phone. Okay, have to take. Take. Must take and has to, to get up. up. Okay, it's okay, Sally. Okay, so here. Now we have here. So using the meaning in the bracket, rewrite the sentence so they have the same meaning. Like I will give one and two. Please refer one and two. You only have six minutes left. Mana Dede? Hah? Tas
Very good. Okay, so just Jake must revise hard for exams. Okay, so your answer are most likely correct, Sally. Very good. So we are not yet done, but we have to finish this next week. Okay, Sally? Okay? Okay, okay because we don't have enough time. Okay, so teacher Anne will say goodbye, and I will see you on next Okay, next week. Okay, Sally? Okay, okay and let us continue this. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.